Proud of the way our guys battled. Um, you know, had some adversity. It wasn't uh, as clean as we wanted it to be, especially early on. Uh, but nobody panicked. Everybody stayed in there, and uh, it's great to see us finish the right way in the second half. And uh, so we'll definitely uh, proud of the win, but definitely got some things we need to continue to work on to improve. I think the uh, good news is, you know, we're having a lot of success, uh, but you know, we still haven't played our best ball offensively. And uh, I think that'll come, and it's good to, to keep our guys hungry and continuing to work as we're just kind of getting started here at the beginning of the year. How about Amari's play tonight? Yeah, man, that, that was awesome. You know, to see a guy like that come back from, you know, that ACL injury and not only come back, but, you know, two touchdowns, you know, big explosive play there, you know, over 80 yards whenever we needed it, and for him to be able to run, uh, outrun everybody, that you know, was just awesome. Uh, to really kind of put an exclamation uh, mark on his rehab, getting back. And uh, that's what I told him when he got back to the sideline. I said, welcome back. You know, that's the guy that, you know, I knew from last year. And uh, th that'll do big things for, for his confidence. It looked like they were running the safety up late on a lot of plays. Is that way y'all were going Yeah, there? yeah, they, they did. Uh, you got to give them credit. They had a good scheme. They brought extra hats down in the box and, uh, you know, forcing us to make some throws. and. You know, we, we made some throws and then, you know, we missed some, um, you know, with the guys we want, the guys we have, we want to hit every single one of them. Uh, but, you know, I, I felt like we settled in a little bit in the second half. We're able to find some running game and, and it was good to be able to hit Ross and, and hit some big plays. Um, but that's, that's something we'll continue to work on. Was it good to see Frank Latson have some success and get that touchdown again? Yeah, it was. You know, early on, you know, he didn't, you know, he didn't, he didn't do the right thing on a couple things. So uh, put some other guys in, and then you know he came back and responded. You know, it was a big time catch in the end zone. That's the kind of plays that we've seen him uh, make in practice. So I was really proud to, you know, it's, it's a whole other thing for a true freshman to come on the road and and play in a pretty good atmosphere like it was tonight. And uh, so that was a, a big moment for him and uh, his development as a freshman. How big was that run for Chaz? How would I help his comments? Yeah, you know, that, that was awesome. You know, we were debating what to do there, but one really wanted to give uh, Mikey Dukes and Chaz an opportunity to, to get a carry. And I think we ended up playing 71 of the 72 players that we brought with us. And, uh, you know, it was awesome for Chez and also awesome for those, uh, you know, backup offensive linemen uh, that got in there uh, to be able to create that hole and, and see Chez have that success. Yeah, we'll go back and watch it on video. You know, the, the one uh, in the boundary, their corner, you know, made a really good play. And then, you know, the other one, uh, you know, Trevor was trying to throw it to one of the guys on the inside curl and just didn't see the guy that was kind of trailing, you know, was on the sprint out. And, you know, he didn't see that guy that was kind of trailing right in uh, behind him. So uh, we'll, we'll watch it on video and, and learn from it and uh, move on. The score looks like you guys were clicking on all cylinders. As the offensive coordinator, did you see it as such or did you see a lot of opportunities? Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, I think it's, a, it's just really encouraging that we had this many yards and this many points, but still don't feel like we, you know, played up to our potential. I think there was a lot of plays that we left out there and, you know, I think as a coach, you know, even though you don't want it to happen at the time, it's great to have some things to really challenge your guys uh, to work on and to improve. You know, we're still early in the year. This is this year's offense uh, and this year's team's first time on the road. Um, so there's going to be a lot of things for us to clean up. But, you know, for us to be able to, to coach and, uh, you know, look for some things that we need to improve on and still have the, the output we had, I think really encourages our guys that when we do put it all together, um, you know, we'll be – you know, scoring a bunch of points and, and uh, moving the ball. What did you see from your guys in a noisy situation, a hostile environment? I mean, it was, it was yeah. pretty intense at certain points. Yeah, you know, it was, it was the, uh, like I said, it was this, this year's team, this year's offense first time in this uh, setting. I, and I felt like for the most part, we did a pretty good job in communication up front, not really uh, having too many illegal procedure calls or anything, things that we worked on there. But, you know, I think there's just, a, you know, it's just one or two guys here and there uh, to have it be con the clean execution that we really want, you know, for it to be, you know, closer to that perfect game that you're looking for. But definitely great to come get get a win and get experience. You know, our team needed this uh, environment. We needed this experience to help us uh, down the road. So it was a message of kind of leave them, leave no doubt last week against Texas A&M. Was that the message again this week, especially considering what Syracuse has done the last two seasons? Yeah, you know, uh, it obviously had been too close of a game losing here two years ago, and then last year having to drive in the fourth quarter. We, you know, we really wanted to put the put the game away, and uh, you know, even though we weren't quite where we wanted to be at halftime, 
you know, I felt like we did that in the second half. And, uh, you know, I thought that was a, probably one of the best signs of the game is the way our guys responded in the second half after maybe a little bit of the adversity and not quite being on the same page in the first half. Um, so, you know, I think the end result, uh, you know, got what we wanted.